Hey, good evening, everybody. This is EDB 2010, and uh, this is a performance review between two Dell notebooks. This one in particular here is an XPS Generation 2, and as we can see here, it has two megs of RAM, two gigs of RAM, um, and display is running the NVIDIA G Geoforce 6800 Ultra with 256 megs of RAM. We don't want to go into other details in here. Properties. It's running XP Professional Service Pack 3. 2 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, physical memory. We're going to do a comparison with Photoshop. This is a two-part session. Photoshop and Premiere. This one in particular we're going to do Photoshop. I got a file in here. This is Photoshop CS3 and on the new 64-bit M6500 we're going to run 64-bit true Photoshop CS4 and running on the same identical file. This is a uh, starter kit box I did for a company and uh, we're just going to work on the time factors of course, we probably started maybe 15 seconds ago, waiting for it to load up, and we're using Camtasia. I have a demo on one unit and the actual purchase of a 4.0 on the other. So. Uh, probably with doing uh, several different applications at the same time. Multitasking on 32-bit is a little bit slow, but just to let you know on this one application that I just launched, the actual file size when it's just all by itself is 347 megs. This has nested layers and so when you come to look at this whole thing when it's open, uh, size is probably about 40 inches by 40 inches because it's a display box and it's got multiple nested layers and uh, we're going to just do something relatively quick uh, the 64-bit uh, M6500 does not have solid-state hard drive although I'm considering on probably upgrading to it um, didn't think that it might have been a benefit initially, but uh, Dell is convincing me that a solid state drive uh, has less components to move, the spinning of the drive, yada yada. They want money, and uh, overall, uh, I'm not complaining so much about it as long as it's faster than this. Of course, we're waiting for this to open up. What I'm going to do when I open this thing up, I'm going to crop it. This is going to show at least, minus the saving functions, although it's running on a 1333 bus on the M6500, this is not running a 1333 bus speed on this thing. I'd be surprised if it's running 166 bus speed of sorts. <coughs> so as we can see, we're still waiting and the clock is ticking probably over a minute right now <laughs> but you can rewind it and clock it for yourself and determine how fast this thing is between the two computers so here's my huge humongous as you can see 40 inches probably around 40 inches by 40 inches I just want to end up doing something nasty to this file even though I have it backed up. Some people might end up doing this themselves just to run a test. But the key function on this is to see how fast the process runs. Of course there's two applications running simultaneously with this uh, tool. Um, I could save this as another file of sorts if I want. I'll do something like that. 
and we can see how it saves and opens the file of course it saves it faster because I cropped it the heck out of it to like seven inch seven okay here we go again and this is where the fun begins this is EDB 2010 and this right now is the Dell Precision M6500 workstation this system here my friends uh, unbelievably fast I'm trying to get rid of a bug in my area here um, let's take a look and see the peripherals real quickly and then we'll get into doing something pretty quick couple things in mind here this is the precision M6500 if you have your binoculars set up you can tell me how much RAM we have we're running on a 2 gigahertz i7 x920 2 gigahertz processor no different in the processor speed on the XPS generation 2 it was 2 gigahertz too display is phenomenally beautiful I've and the first thing I fell in love with this uh, unit was the display that's running the NVIDIA FX 3800 with one gig of dedicated RAM the only thing this unit does not have folks which uh, I will probably make an investment on the account of the research I've just gotten in Dell has recommended that I do it as well is a solid state hard drive this is only running on a 7200 RPM drive so you're still gonna see things fast because of the RAM and the processor so let's launch right now the 64-bit side of Photoshop and we're gonna open up the same identical file that was on the XPS generation 2 this is a trial version so don't worry I will buy it um, I have an assortment of Adobe registrations anyways but I wanted to be sure that what I'm buying here is fast ten years ago I had a 64-bit uh, computer and uh, just to let you know <laughs> it had Windows running on emulation mode which didn't give me much of any speed this is 64-bit today ten years later and I can tell you something folks it is phenomenally fast let's look at the file same identical file let's open it up and look how fast that thing moves I'm not complaining that is fast if I could do all my work like this I can go to the beach and relax same process unbelievably fast all the way across the board my folks and I'm not too worried we'll save it somewhere else then and let's see how fast it saves done there you have it my friends um, once again this is running on the same amount of RAM as the XPS that's because I backed up and I love to back things up I back up all the fonts that were in Windows 7 and then I populated over all the files without uh, erasing the existing ones in Windows 7 I figured it might work a little better or something but just like uh, Illustrator the Photoshop is memory intensive Illustrator is memory intensive with fonts uh, they both love this kind of a uh, tool set where there's plenty of RAM plenty of hard drive uh, processor works very smoothly unlike any of the other things I've seen online about audio displays flickering I've got outside of the box none of it so maybe I'm lucky but um, this is definitely a good tool of choice to buy now, or in my case upgrade to the next level of uh, applications and work involvement for future use We'll keep you posted.